Okay, now what I want to talk about is the mass practice versus um, the uh, randomized practice, if you will. Apologize, I was failing there. Um, the idea that if you were to go and do something, you know, do a move a thousand times, uh, in my opinion, that's that is um, not as effective as somebody that were to learn the move. Uh, in my opinion, have uh, an autonomous reaction to it, and then from there um, start to uh, build games and and things around that. Right. So they're they're trying to randomize that a little bit rather than just saying, okay, I'm going to hit this arm bar from guard. Um, and, you know, a lot of coaches, a lot of students out there, you'll see it on forums all the time. Okay, I'm going to do this move a thousand times and then I'm going to be great at it. Um, a lot of the research shows that you'll feel really good about that technique, but your ability to hit that technique live is going to be a lot less than somebody that were to um, rep that technique enough to be proficient at it and then start to build games around that. Because the problem is, is that as soon as one time you know, one little thing goes off from your original uh, way of doing that technique, then that whole thing is out, right? So what you're looking for is to be able to um, go and learn from that. So we'll talk about more of that uh, going on, but what I'm trying to say is, you know, say I, I rep an arm bar a um, hundred times. Now what I want to do is I want to say, okay, the same concept or the same idea, this arm bar from guard, I'm going to take this and make it one step back and I'm going to go from side control, get out of the guy's side control, get into guard and then do an arm bar. Um, if this guy's going to stack me, this is what I'm going to start to do. Um, and in our practices, if you train with us, you'll notice that that hap starts happening right away. Your second time that you're doing a move, you may have only, only done that move maybe seven or eight times, but you start associating that move with another technique, that way uh, you start to randomize your training of that technique. I still want you to get very proficient at that technique, but it's a matter of fitting it into your game plan. Otherwise, you're just going to have a little piece here, a little piece here, a little piece here, and it's not going to start to connect. But if I can have you start to connect some of those things just because, you know, you've associated, all right, so I can do, um, you know, arm bar from guard. If I'm mounted and then I hip escape, I get into guard. Well, now I can do arm bar from guard. If I've drilled that whole technique, I don't have to think about two techniques. I don't have to think about hip escape into the guard and then armbar. I just have to think about doing essentially that one thing that I've drilled. If that, like I said, that should make sense, but if it doesn't, um, you know, essentially I'm, I've, something that I've drilled um, as a whole is now instead of me trying to piece two things together uh, during a time of stress. And that that's a big thing too, and we're going to talk about that later, is that Doing things under stressful times are, are going to be very uh, hard, and it's hard for you to learn under those stressful times. So um, try to take as much information outside of rolling as you can, and we'll talk about that in the next class.